That's why I was mm-hmm. did that Eric about doing Jill Scott Saturday, man. You, you tuned into that? Oh hell yeah, yeah, I definitely. How was yeah. that? I didn't, I didn't get it. What the fuck was I doing Saturday? Marvelous, man. I was doing something I probably had no business doing. <laughs> <laughs> Rub your, you know, get you some cocoa butter, burn some sage, you know, sit Indian style and shit like that. It yeah, I caught, cool. I caught on to it too late. I think, I don't even remember, but I know I wanted to see it, man. That, that shit right there had to be like. That shit was like a free concert, yeah. Yeah, that had to be, and you know what? That That's probably the one thing that's keeping a lot of our people um, sane right now is these versus battles because. Yeah. We, we get to relive a lot of our uh, moments because, you know, music is tied to a lot of historical things in our life. Like, you know what I'm saying? You hear a song, it brings you back to, you know, something that something happened to you and it was like a great time or, you know, maybe it was a trigger. But either way, it's tied to something and it takes your mind off of the fact that we're stuck in a fucking house right now. And, you know, bills are piling up. Motherfuckers don't have jobs like all of these things are happening and we have our artists, uh, the people that we look up to, to relive these moments. What was, what was your great, um, greatest moment from that? What, what, like, take away. Uh, what, with that battle? Um, yeah. man, it was, just, it was so much music. I like Jill vocals, like just blew everything out of the water. Like people was like, how's Jill going to compete with Erica? I'm like, well, Jill laid those vocals now. It was like, that's how. You yeah, know, no fuck with it. I mean, Jill is like an opera singer, but it was so many hits they had, man. Back in, it really was no standout. I know you could look at some of this shit like it's a distraction, but I enjoy it. Um, but certain people I'm just not worthy about, like Nelly and Ludacris is next week. That's that's the next one. So here's my thing about the um, the versus battle now, because everybody's like, oh, this person's going to win, that's going to win. But what are the are there any official rules to yeah, like? no winner you know what i mean it's really yeah. no referee there's no moderator there's no uh keep no one's keeping score that's just what they call it you know what i mean it right. was like that but it's not organized you know how we do mm-hmm. and uh, them two sisters they was just vibing with each other they wasn't even competing they were singing each other's songs and you know bigging each other up so but i definitely don't want to see trick daddy and trina because they said they wanted to <laughs> and i'm like happy Together, nigga. I don't want to see that one either. Um, <laughs> Nelly and Ludacris would be good because they're they're definitely on the same page. Like I like the 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 picks. You know, they're picking people on somewhat of a same level to where as though it's like, all right, that's a good you know they song for song. Early two thousands era. Right, and um, shout out to Low Key from uh, you heard that new part of the uh, Duce Palooza crew. He had a playlist. Cause you know, uh, DMX said that he would battle Jay Z, and everybody was like, "Oh, it's never going to happen," which it probably won't. But he has a playlist on um, iTunes, and it's called the Cheat Sheet. And um, I'll I'll post the link, you know, uh, in the description of this. But it's DMX and Jay Z, and he's got all of these songs. And I was sitting there the other day, and I'm like, "Yo, it's kind of unfair, right?" Because even though Jay's the bigger artist, DMX might have had some better records like yeah. if you was, late 90s dmx was was a, was was hotter than jay-z i think if you was to do that battle i would have to it would have to to be fair it would have to be okay let's pick records from 97 to 03 because jay lasted so much longer even though i'm not right. a fan of, a lot of jay's newest shit but you can't compete when you play those records with beyonce and shit but from 90s yeah. to like 03 that that, that that's but that's what I'm saying. If, so the re- the records with Beyonce, right? And I, I want to get back to my other point in a second. The records with Beyonce, like, how does that even match up? Like, who, are yeah. we going to say because it did numbers on the charts that it's a bigger record? Like, or is it because the impact that it had on people? Yeah. Because I can tell you, there's no Jay Z Beyonce record better than that joint X did with Faith. Uh, how's it going down? Oh yeah, that oh, shit. Yeah. Nothing's fucking with that. I don't care. <laughs> DMX, DMX, like, because people like tend to like try to play DMX out because of his, yeah, his drug addiction. <laughs> you know, like you could say it is he get over there doing silence. The nigga smoke crack. <laughs> yeah, I think the other thing is between the crack shit and just it's, I, it's a whole other generation of kids who just don't know who the fuck he is. They might right. see Belly and they think he's just Tommy Buns or the, 
they don't know right mega star like at one point he was a bigger star than jay-z they don't know that yeah they're not from that era and dmx had the locks with him like there was so many records where it's like dmx the locks and then you know you got jay-z and jay-z had beanie siegel and then you know maybe bleak sometimes but (laughs) there was no real competition like even with like some of the dudes from state property like dmx and the locks alone Mm -hmm. i was like yo i'm sitting there like dude this is kind of unfair like money power respect come on oh my god 24 hours to live Oh mm-hmm. god, you know niggas are started something. Exactly, like, like that would be a dope. Like I say, but I would have it would to be fair. It's got to be in that year range between right the golden era range. You can't because like I say, Jay done lasted twenty fucking years. You, I don't want to hear Jay play anything after two two thousand three, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh that's unfortunate that we won't get that battle because I gotta do that. Just damn, like that would be amazing. It's like Pharrell. Some some people. That's why I say y'all gotta stop throwing around this for the culture. Because Pharrell turned it down. Kanye, Dr. Dre, uh, Jay. Like some some dudes, they going they not doing it if they not getting paid. Right. They not getting paid, and, and they you know some big fucking numbers. And that and and that right. should let people know though that it's money to be made doing this shit. That and your fave ain't really yeah, about that culture shit them. like they talk. Like you know what I'm saying? Like because. Like I said, in this trying times, like people don't have anything. What what is it gonna take for Jay Z two hours out of his day to fucking yeah, sit down? Yeah. What the fuck else are you doing? Behind Instagram Live and fucking play some records. Like for real, grab you some cognac and your favorite cigar and sit there and chill. Like, but these motherfuckers they're too big. Yeah, he's too big for his own good. Like I say, Jay's not even on Instagram, so right. <laughs> Use his wife account, but yeah, they they do. It's like I used to always say, well, why certain artists to me act like they bigger than the culture? Like, have you ever seen Drake or Lil Wayne on The Breakfast Club? No. Okay, back in the day, I vividly remember Tupac and Biggie going on Rap City, right? Going, like, uh, hit um, uh, what was it? Yo MTV Raps. Like, yeah. no bigger than the culture platforms. These certain artists now, they they big for certain shit. Like they Hollywood, you know, you don't Drake win all the awards. You don't go to none of these black award shows. Right. <laughs> Too good for these niggas. The way they, it's mine. Yeah, that and that that's a damn shame. But while we're talking about music, let's um throw out a few RIPs. RIP to Andre Harrell. Um yeah. he started Uptown Records. Um if you if you don't know who he is, you should probably look him up because he's responsible for some of your favorite artists ever. Um Thanks these babies these 90s babies right um he like if it wasn't for andre harrell we wouldn't have diddy puff daddy sean combs whatever like the the mogul that we know today he wouldn't be here if it wasn't for andre harrell so rp to that man um passed away at the age of 59 and yeah man as i get up there in age i'm like damn that's still young like you still got a whole lot a life to live at 59 um R.I.P. to Lil Richard, fucking the king of rock and roll, the original king of sass. Like, <laughs> that guy was a badass, man. Yeah, yeah. And um, I said this on my other show. I was like, when, because as I'm doing the research, I'm looking at the pictures, like, that was a beautiful man. That motherfucker looked like a doll. Like, all his life, every picture, he looked like a damn doll. I was like, look at this motherfucker. Yeah, in, in the 40s, in the 50s. Yes. Like, and he was like openly gay in the time where it was like damn near you'd be killed for being openly yeah, gay. Like, I respect gay OGs like that though. Yeah, they gay OGs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the show. <laughs> they wasn't doing it for the clout. It wasn't no yeah, no. No alphabet community. There was right. no and the, they was just out there saying fuck it. And you know, niggas used to get beat up for that shit. Niggas used yeah. to get stabbed all that. I, I respect the gay OGs like like Rick Little Richard and them, man. Yeah, yeah, because they they actually made it possible for the this ones one day. of today, right? The yeah. alphabet community and the Rainbow yeah. Coalition. Benefits of it, so. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, R.I.P. to him. R.I.P. to Betty Wright. Um, yeah. Another singer. Like I didn't know her by name, but I know a lot of her music um, just by sound. Oh, did you know Lil Richard was eighty seven? Yeah, 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 I see. Yeah, that nigga lived a long time. Yeah, 
That's why I say it wasn't too sad because he, and he died him. of uh, bone cancer. That probably had to be painful, man. I heard of that? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> Betty, Betty Wright, sixty six. Um, the, so here's the thing, right? When when I when I saw that, um, I thought Twitter was trolling because you know usually Twitter is talking about uh, Betty White. That's what I thought at first. I was like, oh shit, Betty White. Right, but. I saw it because you, you see Betty Wright, but in your mind, it looks like Betty. Betty White for some reason. Like, I'm not dyslexic, but anybody would have saw that on the timeline. Like, I saw it would have been like, what the fuck? Yeah. Right. But it said Betty Wright, and then it was a black woman. I was like, hold up. Is Twitter trolling again? Because I'm like, why would they put Betty White and then a black woman right here? And I was oh, just like, it didn't make sense to me. But then when the news came out, and I, because you can't read everything. You can't believe everything you read on Twitter. I know I don't. They, they killed Joe Rogan like every three months on Twitter. <laughs> Remember when they killed Master P back in 2009? Uh, nah, but they, they, they killed Steve Urkel. They, they killed so many people. That I, Yo, I, everybody, man. It's like you just can't. But um, RIP to those musical legends, man. Um, I, I am looking forward to some of these versus battles. The only one I really watched was um, who the fuck did I watch? Babyface and uh, Teddy Riley, the second one, because the oh. meme. From the first one had me fucking rolling. I was like, right, I gotta see these two old men try to operate technology. Yeah, I seen all of them so far. They're supposed to do Bone Thugs and Three Six Mafia like a week ago, but once Erica and Jill got announced, they they kind of scrapped that to the side. Like yeah, that. yeah. I, I don't think that was official versus though. I think that was something that they wanted to do, and they were like, nobody really cared. I guess. No, I think they're actually going to get verses in on it, and they're going to set it up. I don't know how it works or whatever, but. <laughs> Yeah, Swiss Beast is like Vince McMahon. He's in charge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> him, and, him and Timbaland. Yeah, you know, they're getting paid. <clears throat> yeah. Um, all right, so let's...